and uh, David's working on Abby behind me. He's also doing a 40 on the pads. This baby girl has gone through a lot of surgeries, a lot of food changes, a lot of issues. Yeah, I know. No, I didn't forget. It's in my head. Um, a lot of serious issues. And a couple times I, I thought we were going to lose her. I mean, she came in root. Sorry, are you okay? That's good. Yeah, I'm sorry. She came in with severe weight loss, and I thought, oh, gosh. All right, so usually we do like a seven all over because I don't see them for three or four months and they've been coming to me for many years, like I said. But this time I'm just gonna change it up because you don't need to shave every dog. They don't come in matted anymore and her hair doesn't grow like it used to. She's got a big mole right here. Uh, her hair doesn't grow like it used to, but they also don't brush, okay? So you have to shave and do the haircut according to that. They're not going to brush. It's not like you want to do a long flowing haircut now, do you? No, because they're not going to brush it. I know we got a matted tail here. Go sideways with your blade, cut through those mats, that way I can save some of it, and then underneath I'm actually going to just take it down. Actually, you know what? It's really matted in there. Seven down all over. Good. She will bite you. Yeah, I know. I thought it was Constantly change your blade if you need to. If you only have one or two blades, you're going to want to get more. It's really important to keep your blades cool. And personally, I don't like to use the coolant. I'd rather change my blades. Coolant will clog up your blades a little bit while you're grooming. Oh, you can't even see me. That's the problem. Come here. I'm going to go this way then. I'm going to do inverted V here, get all that gunk out of the face area. She wants to lay down, just unclick her, let her lay down. Big knots in there and stuff from the boogers, the eye boogers. No, no, no. Get all those boogers out of there. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, you like it? It's your chin? Hey, it's your chin? <laughs> oh, gosh. See, there's a lot of dirt here. We want to make sure you clean that out real good and pull the ear hair out of the way. Look how dirty these are. Short tummy and sanitary.
She's chewing that area right there, which is why it's maroon. Could be arthritis, could be just allergies. Use your D-matter, split. This is a matte splitter. I'm gonna split that up a little bit. I've already run my tin through there sideways so it's not too, too bad, but use a table if you need to as you're backing or use your hand, kind of pull all that mats out of there, see? This is a, avoiding shaving the whole tail. Kind of hold it there right after the skin so it doesn't pull so much actually on the skin. Just like you would yourself if you had long hair. All the way down the base of that tail, it's matted. Just hold it at the right after, I'm sorry, I know it's not, I know it's painful. I'm using a table because it's pretty thick, the mats are pretty thick. I'm gonna trim now and then fix it more later. All right, we're gonna actually do a lot of work with her coat in the bath. We're gonna do brush out thoroughly with the brush and water and conditioner. So that's gonna be a lot of the coat fixing. I'm gonna try to leave her long, just shaped up today. All right, here we go. All right, we're leaving her long and flowing today with this haircut. I'm gonna tidy all this stuff up. I'm gonna do some leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna brush like how I tell you guys to brush. Brush so that you ah, she, she's definitely more disabled, you know. She has some issues, so be careful. I'm gonna cut these mats out that are still left.
Okay. She didn't just want to yawn there. That's her uh, like, ah. Oh.
had the groom loop a little tighter because she's moving around a lot, making the process just moving around, moving around, moving around. Like you can't complete something because she keeps moving, but the groom loop is in back to being loose now, and that's why she's back to kind of being able to move around a lot. No, no, no. David, can you check on her? She usually doesn't make a peep. She's usually very, very quiet, so that's odd to me. Make sure her feet are okay or... All right, we're gonna leave her with this cute look today. Let me finish out her sister here in a minute. Kind of left the body, did a lot of shape up, four guard here and there, four guard teddy bear head. And she's an older baby. She's got some medical issues, so just did the best we could for her. And she's not, she's a black and white, but she's not, her sister's aggressive, not her, so. All right, we're all done? Yeah, we're all done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>